I personally think that investing in experiences tend to bring me more happiness compared to buying new things. But sometimes, social media gets in the way, constantly suggesting that happiness comes from staying up to date with the latest trends. I'm not gonna lie, purchasing something new is always thrilling at first. But that excitement usually doesn't linger for too long. And before you know it, we're looking for the next best thing to purchase. It's such a vicious cycle of adding clutter to a home, which is something I'm trying to avoid entirely. So I was thinking, since I'm practicing being clutter-free, I'll do the same when it comes to gifting to family and friends as well. And I can see that they actually feel the gift of experiences to be more special and delightful compared to being given a physical gift. So here are some clutter-free gift ideas I found that you might find useful as well. So what are clutter-free gifts? If you're not too sure what clutter-free gifts are, they basically aren't things but experiences, activities, non-material presents, and consumables, which do not take up space in a home. Now that we have that clear, let's get into it. Gift a travel experience. Who wouldn't love a travel experience as a gift? I know I would. It's such a unique way to get someone a clutter-free gift, especially if you know the other person could use a well-deserved break. You're essentially providing them with a very comprehensive collection of wonderful experiences. Consider gifting them a travel box. This way, they have the freedom to choose an experience that truly resonates with them. There are a couple of websites worth checking out such as Tingly and Get Your Guide. These platforms offer an array of experiences from all around the world. I personally use Get Your Guide to give my parents a tour during their trip to Canada and they told me what a great experience it was. What I especially like about it is how flexible Get Your Guide is. If, in any case, plans do change unexpectedly, you are able to cancel your reservations with no extra cost. One of the most practical and thoughtful gifts out there, for sure. You can also gift audiobooks. Audiobooks make such great gifts for a wide range of people. I've asked some of my family and friends and turns out that most of them would appreciate receiving an audiobook. And that range covers the book lovers, of course, the multitaskers, the commuters, students, the busy professionals, and so many more. Remember to consider the recipient's interests and lifestyle when selecting an audiobook to ensure it's a thoughtful and well-received gift. You can choose a bestseller, a classic, or a book related to their hobbies and passions to make the gift even more special. Gifting an audiobook year subscription will be a fantastic idea as well, so they would be able to enjoy a wide selection of books for an entire year. I personally like Audible when it comes to audiobooks. It is mainly because of the wide audiobook selection that they have and it is accessible on various devices which makes it really convenient. You could also donate to charity. I love this idea. I have personally done this for a friend before and it was really nice to see how much she appreciated it. If you have a family member or a friend who is passionate about a certain cause like providing clean water for impoverished areas, helping the homeless, and so on, you can make a donation in the recipient's name. There is no doubt they will appreciate your kind gesture and feel really good about being able to contribute to the cause they care about. Why not gift a fitness class? If you know a fitness enthusiast, there is no doubt they would enjoy a free fitness class. It could be yoga, a spinning class, boxing, pilates, you name it. If you know of a class or type of exercise they have always wanted to try, get them a pass for that class. I was personally gifted a class pass by my good friend for flying yoga. I've always wanted to try it and getting a treat for it was a pleasant surprise. Experiences always feel so special and different as compared to being given a physical gift. Gift a food basket. I really like the idea of food baskets, especially for someone who doesn't want to celebrate. I mean, who doesn't love food? They're perfect when it comes to birthday celebrations, 
date nights or special occasions. If you're looking to put together your own food basket for someone, start by picking a category of food that the other person would love. It could be a beer basket, candy basket, coffee lover's basket, or even a cheese basket, you name it. If curating one of these is just too complicated to do on your own, don't worry. There are some companies that I know of that can curate stunning looking baskets. Here are a few. There's Beer Drop for the beer lovers, Candy Club for the candy lovers, and Bee Box for the coffee lovers. Instead of wasting money on something that will add clutter to a loved one's home, consider giving them an intangible gift. This can be a good gift for someone who isn't materialistic and for us to be more intentional with the gifts that we give. Hope these gift ideas give you a better picture of what you can actually do. Happy gifting!